Sensation patient is probably my first one. Um, all right, so low back pain. Low back pain, we all know it's exceedingly prevalent. Huh. I'm not going to ask you to raise your hand, but a certain proportion of us in this room right now are probably experiencing a little bit of low back pain. Maybe it's the chairs you're sitting in. Maybe you slept funny in the bed last night. Maybe, what's that? The luggage you slept in from wherever you were. You missed your connecting flight and, you know, stress at home. Whatever it might be. Lots of us get low back pain. Usually it's the thoracolumbar area. So, you know, for patients, you know, here to here. Really, it's where it hurts. It is usually a, mu a, a muscle pull. Or maybe it's a stretched ligament, <clears throat> muscle tear. Typically transient, it does in time resolve. You can ice, you can rest, you can give non-steroidals. You can, if it's really prolonged, greater than two to three weeks, prescribe some PTOT. Usually by the time they get through that session, they're fine and they've moved on. But I absolutely have seen some folks with three weeks of really debilitating back pain and spasm, and it's, and it's truly a muscle injury. It's nothing uh, crazy and, and scary. And fortunately, a lot of those folks already have an MRI that says there's really not much going on. That can be frustrating, though, because they don't know what's going on. How many of you had the experience that if one of the patients in your care has an MRI, there's going to be an answer on that study, right? All right? Maybe the radiologist didn't find it. Maybe this doctor's too dumb to find it, but it's on there. Well. No, it's not, but that's a different issue.